The beauty in nature, in great works of art, in architecture. What makes all of these beautiful? This ancient Greek philosopher had one answer. The beautiful, wrote Plato, never lacks proportions. Another ancient Greek, the mathematician Euclid, called this proportion the golden ratio. This is what the golden ratio looks like expressed mathematically. This is what the golden ratio looks like in the natural world. It's here, and here, and here. Dating back to the ancient Greeks and before, humans were inspired by the natural balance of these proportions and began to copy them in what they built and sculpted and painted. The golden ratio refers to the proportion of shorter lines and sections to longer lines and sections, one to about 1.618 dot dot dot. The three dots mean the golden ratio is an irrational number, like pi. It doesn't repeat and doesn't end. And like pi, the golden ratio is represented by a Greek letter, the letter phi. It's no coincidence that phi is the first letter of the name of a Greek sculptor and architect, Phidias, who designed statues and carvings for the Parthenon using the golden ratio, or what the ancient Greeks called the most beautiful rectangles. Overlays can help us see these same golden ratio proportions in the body structure of mammals and insects. In ancient temples and 12th century cathedrals, and in some of the most famous works of art. Renaissance artists, especially Leonardo da Vinci, used the golden ratio in their paintings. They called it the divine proportion. The golden ratio isn't just linear or rectangular. Within each golden rectangle is a smaller rectangle and a perfect square. If you draw between the opposite corners of each progressively smaller square, it forms a golden ratio spiral. There are millions of examples of that spiral shape in nature, in flowers, pine cones, and shells, even in weather patterns like hurricanes. And in our solar system, the Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. Artists inspired by nature have also used the golden racial spiral in their work. Subconsciously or consciously, most humans perceive these proportions as perfectly balanced, instinctively pleasing, in nature, in the composition of art, even in photographs. The golden ratio, a stunning way to see balance and beauty in the world around you and beyond you.